Aquab, my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's Mel Mishy here, and today I have a makeup tutorial. <laughs> Is that two toes? I don't know. Gosh, I've never done this before. <laughs> so, obviously, we're starting with a bare face. I'm just gonna go in with a moisturizer, and today I'm just gonna go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It's just a really lightweight gel kind of moisturizer, so I'm just gonna pop that on my face. Lovely. Next, I'm going to prime my T-zone area. So I've got my Becca Ever Matte. I'll put all the um, makeup that I'm using down in the description box below. But I'm just using about this much, just a bit. And I'm gonna warm it up in my fingers first. This stops it from like getting that white kind of cast. Maybe a bit on my chin as well. I get to see that too. Cool, so next I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I feel like eyebrows take a really long time to do. I'm just gonna do it off camera and then I'll come back once I'm done with it. Okay, so eyebrows are on. I know I'm looking a bit crazy, but I'm gonna point my balance out, it's fine. We're gonna make this work, okay? We're gonna start on the face. So I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer um, and this is in the color Espresso. I'm just gonna go over any kind of blemishes that I have and just kind of correct it before I go in with my foundation. Oh my God. I'm gonna go in with a damp Real Techniques brush, sponge, you know what I mean. And I'm just gonna blend this all out. Cool. Now we've evened out the base, I'm gonna use two foundation colors. Both are going to be um, the Lancome Tempt Adol Ultra Wear. Colours that I'm using are 13.1 and number 14. I'm kind of an in-between shade at the moment, so I'm trying to achieve like, the perfect shade by mixing the two. And always take it down your neck as well, just so you haven't got any demarcation. That looks good to me. Next, we're gonna highlight and contour. So to highlight, I'm using, again, my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, Concealer. <laughs> and this is in shade Fawn, and I'm gonna use this to highlight underneath my eyes and other various places. When I put my concealer on, I like to go in with layers. So I kind of like dab the first layer and then anywhere that I feel like it needs to be highlighted a bit more, I add, add some more highlight to it. So if you're wondering why I'm going through my highlighter again, it's because of that. So in terms of contour, I still haven't found like a perfect contour shade for me. So I just go in with the foundation. The foundation that I'm using is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This is in shade NW58. And then what I do is I get like a, a darker shade of my Pro Conceal um, and I just dip it kind of inside <laughs> like that. I know it's really ratchet, but this is like a good kind of applicator. So I like to go in with that. In fact, that was a little too far. <laughs> On the sides of my nose. And then I just like to warm up my forehead as well. Go a little bit around here as well. Oh, and I forgot. In my highlight shades so after going back to my forehead, I just highlight Cupid's bow or like just above my lip too. I'm just gonna wet my sponge a little bit more and you're gonna blend, honey. When I go to my nose, this is like a really weird technique that I use, but I like to just go in with my, okay, just to show you I'm not sticking up my middle fingers at you guys. My hands are a little bit crusty. My ring fingers and just go in and rub it in like that. I feel like that just gets me a really nice clean line and it blends it in quite naturally. And with my cheeks, I'm just gonna go in with like a, Wonder Cover Complexion Brush from Eco Tools. It's just like a really dense kind of brush. And then I just go in the contour area with this. And 
I know I haven't done this bit, but I did that bit last just because I like to make it really nice and sharp. I'm gonna go in with some um, Benign powder. I believe this is in the shade Topaz. I've just got it in like a little tub because I find it so much easier to like distribute it like this. And I've got my little sponge, my square topped sponge. And I'm just gonna pop this underneath my eyes and any other area that I've highlighted for that matter. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So first I'm gonna go in and do a little cat eye for my eye. I'm using Collections Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. This liner, y'all, this liner is three pounds. The amount of times I've tried different liners, more expensive liners, I've always come back to this liner, so I'm just gonna use it because it, it works for me and it's what I know and it's what I love, so yeah. I'm really not a pro at doing wing liner as well, so please, like, don't watch. <laughs> watch, but don't watch. Okay, all right, so now I'm done with my eyeliner. I'm just gonna dust off all the excess powder. So next I'm going to put like a kind of nudie colour, like a black nudie colour in my waterline. So this one's from Maybelline, I think the name is rubbed off, but I'll leave the name in the description bar below. And I'm just going to run it through my waterline just to make my eyes open up a bit more and make them pop. Can you tell the difference? It's subtle but it's just little details like that that make a look. I bought these lashes from online. Let's just say I have only successfully put lashes on once in my life. But yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna put this on. So I was thinking of cutting this bit out, but maybe you can just watch me struggle because that's always fun as well, right? <laughs> uh, you know what? This could this could ruin my whole eye look right now. Okay, you know what? I've even forgotten to do something, so. <sighs> oh, guys, you know what? I've got to prime my lids. Just dab it in. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade from my Morphe 352 palette. It's called Contour. It's not a contour shade for me, it's this one here. And I'm just gonna press that on most of my lids. I'm just gonna use my blush, the same blush I'm gonna use later, but this is Raisin. And I'm just gonna get a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna really lightly go into my crease. Cool? Cool. I'm gonna try and put lashes on now. You girls trying out here. Oh, God. oh my God, they feel so heavy though. How do people go around with these things on their eyes? Okay, I'm done. I'm done with lies. So I'm gonna use my blush, the blush that I'm using today is the same one that I use in my crease, so it's Raisin from MAC. I'm just gonna blot my nose with a little bit of powder because I don't forget. It's so oily, guys. No primer can stop the oil from coming through. We're done blush. Let's move on to highlighter. So I'm gonna be using a MAC product again. This one is called Cheeky Bronze and it is their Mineralized Skin Finish. Damn. Look at that glow. And I'm also gonna highlight with my nose. I'm gonna do the lips. I'm gonna go in with Max Lip Liner in Bespoken For. This is a Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil and it's just a really nice kind of berry color. Now for the lips. <laughs> this color. It's by Colored Brain, it's an American brand. And this is called Cherry Blossom this red y'all this red y'all i'm telling you it's beautiful this is beautiful it looks a bit weird when you first put it on but just let it dry let it do its thing and then it develops into three beats so whilst it's drying i'm gonna quickly set my face so i'm not looking like a crusty mofo um, i'm using the pixing I'm using the Pixie uh, Makeup Fixing Mist, and it looks like that. <gasps> no!
so this is the final look i know it was a hassle to get to a hassle and a freaking half but i'm really happy with the way that it came out i love this lip color it's just such a perfect blue toned red it's a really pretty color as you can see on my skin tone and i'm a dark i'm a dark chocolate so i'm not a makeup guru i'm sorry it was so kind of like everywhere but i hope you got the gist of what i did i hope you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to show me love on this channel and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye